Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal and today I'm going to, I'm going to show you like one of the easiest lazy girl hair hacks on the planet and I'm going to make your life a little bit easier. Okay, so do you like the wavy hair look? I feel like most of us do. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's quite a bit that, you know, aren't really into it or like it on other people, don't really like it on themselves. <clears throat> But even if you did love it, you just absolutely do not have time to sit there and use a waiver on all your hair. And I, I don't blame you because I don't have time for that crap either. So, I'm going to show you what I do whenever I want to get that big wavy hair look. But I don't want to sit there with a hot tool. Also, this is heatless. So, can't go wrong with that. First thing you're going to want to do is the night before... You're going to want to French braid your hair. If you can't French braid your hair and you have longer hair, you could just do this part. But obviously, the top is not going to be wavy. <clears throat> so, it's whatever you want. But French braid your hair. Okay? That's step one. Then, you're going to go to sleep. I don't leave my hair wet. I don't like to French braid. Yes, ma'am. Hi. I don't like to French braid it wet and go to sleep. I just feel like that's gross. If it's a little bit damp, I guess that's cool. But I would not do this with soaking wet hair. If it's a little damp, cool, but not super wet. And then you're going to get up the next morning and you're going to take out your little elastics. You can use scrunchies if you really want to. I just use little elastics and sometimes I will do this the night before and I will wear my hair in French braids for a day or two and then I'll take it out and this is a really good way if you're trying to use less heat on your hair and you're trying to wash it less, dry it less, all that stuff. You can wash it, let it air dry, French braid it. You can wear it in French braids for a couple of days, then you can take it down and... And then you have a cute, wavy look. No heat, no nothing, super duper easy. And I will wear my hair like this for a couple of days. I do like to take it at the bottom and kind of pull some of the little pieces apart. You may want to take a straightener and maybe straighten out the ends if they don't look good. I am trying not to put any heat whatsoever on my hair, so I will not be taking a straightener to the end. And you want to make sure that you really work with the back because you did have it parted. So you want to make sure that you get in there with your fingers and really kind of make sure that that part's not still there anymore. <clears throat> you might want to use a little hair oil Go through the ends, go through your hair. That will help it a lot as well. And then, I'll wear my hair like this for a couple of days. It's really, really easy. It's comfortable. I like big, messy hair. I like a big, messy look. So, a lot of times, I will do a little bit of this. Maybe, you know, tuck behind the hair, ear on this side. You can also keep the part. Tuck it behind the ears if you want a little bit of sleek look. You can put a headband on. And then when my hair is really getting towards like, hey, you might want to wash it. Let me show you how I fix it as a really cute updo. So give me just a second and I'll be right back. Okay, so after a couple of days, your hair may be getting a little dirty. The dry shampoo may be running abundant. And it's time to, you know... Take it one more day. We just don't have time to wash our hair. We got to do an updo. Okay, so this is one of my favorite things to do because I just think it's adorable. So we're going to want to try to keep this part. So we're going to bring, we're going to start just bringing it up. We want it messy. Okay, so I'm not going to use a hairbrush because I don't want it to be all sleek and pretty. I want it to be messy. Now, if you want it to look sleek and pretty, that's on you. You do you. Now, I'm going to take a ponytail holder. You can take whatever you want. You can take a scrunchie. You can take an elastic. You can take a ponytail holder. I don't care. 
And then I'm just going to start messily wrapping that around. I'm going to do about three times. All right, <clears throat> we have this. We still have our part. Now we're going to come in here and we're going to gently pull out some front pieces because we want this to be messy. Okay, we're going to pull out some at the ear. We're going to pull out some here. And then I'm going to start really loosening this because, like I said, I want it to be messy. I'm going to start pulling this towards the top of my head. And I want some of these wavy pieces out of this messy bun. Like so. If you can hear Rosie scratching, I am so sorry. And then I'm just going to kind of take my fingers <clears throat> and like back comb these pieces. And honestly, the dirtier your hair, the better this works. And we're going to pull out some pieces here to really give it that messy look. And then if you need to, you can take bobby pins and you can pin anything you need to pin on top. And then we want to take out some of these because we want this to be messy down here as well. And honestly, the more you pull out around your face, the better. Voila. Okay. We have a very cute, messy do. Now, if a messy do is not your thing, then obviously you are going to hate this. But y'all, I love a good messy look, especially with a really cute, chic, sophisticated outfit and then a messy hair look. It just looks like you're that cool girl that threw their hair up and didn't purposely have it look like that. You know what I mean? I love a cute hair look that looks like I just got up out of bed and didn't try to fix my hair, but everybody wants to know how you got your hair like that. Every time I've worn my hair like this, everybody's like, oh my gosh, your hair is so cute. And I'm like, thank you. The first time I did it, I accidentally did this and I, I, you know, everybody was like, oh my gosh, that is adorable. And I'm like, hold on real quick. Let me recreate. So I really love this. This is also a great way to push your hair past those wash days where you desperately need to wash it, but you just don't have time. Or if you're trying to really help the health of your hair and you're trying to go heatless, you're trying to wash it less, you're trying to dry it less and all of that stuff, this is really, really helpful. Not to mention the heatless waves. <clears throat> the heatless waves you can wear down for a couple of days and those waves stay in my hair. They really don't go anywhere. And if I need to refresh them, I just French braid my hair again before I go to bed, go to sleep, wake up, bam, we're good again, okay? So it's really easy to refresh them and like I said, no heat involved. With my hair being bleached, any opportunity I can take to not put heat on my hair, best believe I'm going to do it. So, I hope you enjoyed this. I honestly want to try some other heatless curl methods because I have never tried any of those. Like the belt, the leggings, all that stuff. So, if you would like to see me try those, leave it in the comments down below. I love you guys. If you have any tips or tricks of ways that you fix your hair and you get heatless waves or curls or anything like that, leave those in the comments down below for everyone else so we can all try them out together. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so before you go. And if you want to get a little bit more of me throughout the week, you can go to the description, follow the links to my TikTok and my Instagram, and follow me over on those platforms. I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.